It's Friday! I realize you can't hear my drum roll probably with my computer sound system, but oh well. I was doing a drum roll for you. Friday, you made it. And what better way to end Friday than with Revelation? Dun dun dun! And yes, Revelation, not Revelations, there's only one. It's actually kind of a big point. In some of the early councils, there will only be one revelation, no more revelations added to the Bible. Anyway, another video for another time. Revelation 1. We haven't tackled this one yet. Talking about transfiguration. What if I told you that Christ's transfiguration happens multiple times in Scripture, including Revelation? 1. 12 through 18. Then I turned to see whose voice it was that spoke to me. And on turning, I saw seven golden lampstands. And in the midst of the lampstands, I saw the one like the Son of Man, clothed with a long white robe and with a gold sash across his chest. His head and his hair were white as wool, white as snow. His eyes were like a flame of fire. His feet were like burnished bronze, refined as in a furnace, and his voice was like the sound of many waters, maybe even living waters. In his right hand he held seven stars, and from his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword. His face was like the sun shining in full force. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. But he placed his right hand on me, saying, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last the living one. I was dead, and see, I am alive forever and ever, and I have the keys of death and of Hades. Whew! Jesus looks a little different in this, huh? And Jesus will look a little different again at the end of Revelation as the Lamb on the throne, and then ultimately as the King on the throne. Anyway! I mean, this is like Super Saiyan Jesus. This is terrifying, right? <laughs> final form. Well, it's not his final form, but yeah, you get the idea. Um, God, through Christ, yes, his appearance changes again. That is noteworthy. Thank you, Revelation. But what this is setting up is a book to talk about that God will transfigure everything. Not just the world. All of creation. The stars it talks about, right? The universe. Uh... All the worlds, time, space, everything itself, past, present, future, changed forever. All things will be changed. There will be a new heaven and the earth, right? But the transfiguration process will happen before then. It's funny, Jesus' final act before going to the cross is transfiguration. You could argue his final act of the cross is transfiguration through the res into the resurrection. And you could also argue God coming to earth incarnate. His first action was transfiguration. And then here we find out his final action, or first action of a revelation, and actually his last action of revelation as well, is transfiguration. If I mention this is in God's wheelhouse, God can transform things, make them look different in a better way. To an elevated place. God has this power. God has done it again and again and again and again. We heard it all week. God has this power. And in fact, in Revelation, we were promised that God will do it again ultimately. And until then, we worked to that day. We worked to transfigure the world for better. And abundant life right now. Whew. So yeah, that's what we're doing this Friday. We're helping the world transfigure into a better place through Christ. Join us. I'll see you on Sunday.